it into dimensional modeling. But it's it's just I didn't want to blow your mind in that last video. Um, so I left it at the end of the last video saying that I like to do views to tie objects together. What I mean by that is particularly useful, this is particularly useful in reporting. Uh, let's take um, like a, some product information. Right? I'm constantly doing this. So select whatever from products p join categories c on parent dot primary key equals child dot foreign key right so i might need to get p dot star category name okay. so in the same result set with the product i'm always wanting to get the category name or you know 20 times i need to get that in 20 different places in an application or in 20 queries throughout my database okay so this is sort of a flattened a denormalized view of the database, more of a dimensional modeling uh, approach to doing that. And so what I would probably do here is I use this so often, I would probably create a view uh, dim products, dimension products, as this so that it flattens that data. And now I can query that later on. I can say select all from dim products, uh, you know, where category ID equals six. And I don't have to worry about including the categories column. It's coming back in the result set. I might later create a function, get products in category, and bring in the category ID int returns table as return this category ID okay so I might do that because now I'm using the dim products but then later I might say get products by supplier okay? by supplier and so I would choose the supplier ID okay? and because I have that base dim products I don't have to change that again so that's a case where I would do that. I would not want to here have to have copied and pasted that into multiple get type of functions. It's better for me to wrap that into a view and just use that view over and over and over again. If I need to change the view, I've got one location to change that commonly used join. Okay. So that's, when, that's what I mean when I say I, I prefer the views to tie the objects together. Now, everything that I've shown you so far is a single statement function. The next choice down here is the multi-statement. I don't really think there's many opportunities that a single statement can be rewritten as a, a multi-statement. Generally speaking, a multi-statement function, you're trying to do something that you just can't do as a single statement. So I think of the multi-statement as when I want to do a stored procedures work, but I want a result set generated. That's how I decide when I'm using a multi-statement. Or anytime I find myself needing a variable or uh, if statement or while, I have to write either a stored proc or a multi-statement function. Now the choice between them is whether or not I want a result set generated or I want to execute a stored procedure. So you can look up the syntax for the multi-statements. I'll show you just a single one here. Uh, create function multi-statement function um, and we'll pass in a parameter uh, order ID int and it returns the orders uh, order detail table and it has the order ID it has the product name uh, let's see I think that's I can't remember the this size is there and number of other orders of this 
product. <laughs> I don't know. I, that's a bad one because then we're getting into correlated subqueries and too deep there. Um, trying to think of something uh, that we would have. Forget it. I'm, I'm just going to do that. So from child join parent on child dot foreign key equals parent dot primary key. And then you just finish with the return statement. So in the multi statement, you have to declare the table variable and then you have to populate that. And so this is where you could do if, you know, row count greater than two, insert order detail, order ID, product name, uh, values, more than two details. I don't know, just junk, right? I mean, that's nothing. Nobody would ever do that. But when you execute this now, right, I pass in the order ID that I want to work with and I get the Wrong thing because I forgot to put an S up there. Unfortunately, it let me compile it. So here are all of these. Um, and oh, I see what I did not do. Where order ID equal order ID. Sorry. Looked wrong. And you can see that we added in the more than two details. How I knew this had to be a function, a, a multi-statement, is I wanted to do an if clause, for example. I needed to use that. Uh, so that was it. Okay. Real simple. I find that most of my functions tend to be single statement for support. And multi-statement, uh, I find that I use these the most when I try to do reporting from within SQL instead of letting a reporting tool do things like I'm calculating um, uh, cubes, roll-ups, uh, subtotals, grand totals, right? When I'm doing all of that in SQL instead of letting the front end handle that, that's when I find that I work the most with multi-statement. So most of the time, I would write the inline. Out of 100 functions, I probably have 75 inline and 25 multi-statement, right? So hopefully this helps you uh, get a handle on the differences between them when you would use them. I hope I helped you out.